For just over two decades, this plane has called TNT home. But as 9Y Alpha November uniform is pushed out of the Cal hangar one last time, it's retracing a route it took almost 23 years ago. After all, this Boeing 737-800NG first landed on our shores in 2000. Now, some 27,000 flights later, it's making one final flight in Caribbean Airlines colors. Caribbean on 730, for off. As 9YNU powered down the Piaco runway, employees and enthusiasts captured her final moments. Those who couldn't be there in person tracked her online as she headed north. Meanwhile, at Carl's head office, I caught up with Captain Andrew Wood. He was there when the aircraft arrived in TNT and has flown her many times. And if you're wondering what it's like to fly one of these machines... It is an amazing experience. It is like driving a sports car. It has a lot of power, great altitude capability. The airplane can outclimb many aircraft of its caliber. But what happens to these multi-million dollar jets when they leave the Caribbean Airlines fleet? Well, some were converted to cargo freighters, others began flying for different carriers. 9YKIN, a 23-year-old 737, headed across the pond to be disassembled for parts. Now, an engine like this can cost millions of dollars, and they recently sent one to St. Athens in the UK. It's at the eCube Solutions facility in St. Athens that 9YKIN was decommissioned. eCube Solutions removes components, which are then recertified and used as spare parts to go back into the aviation industry. There's normally about a thousand of those items, and, and just to be clear, we're talking about items which each have their own part number and serial number and a data plate on them and those parts have their own maintenance manual and their own records so called back to birth trace records and those will have um, the opportunity to go back into aviation as, as traceable parts. While the engines are usually the first to be removed, components like emergency slides and nose cones are also taken out. About 93% of an aircraft can be either recycled or upcycled. And your imagination is really the limit when it comes to upcycling. Cuts of the airplane cabin have been turned into backyard offices, ancient callings turned into chairs. Well, you get the idea. But for those with less uh, space and or money, there's always aircraft skin. But before you say, Buy for Alan or Batty Balan. Hear me out. Companies like Aviation Tag salvage pieces of aircraft skin, which they cut, size, and laser engrave to make keychain size collector's items. The company says it's a way to not only upcycle decommissioned aircraft, but also preserve memories. People have a special connection oftentimes to our aircraft that we are using. We've had customers contacting us that flew on their honeymoon with that specific airline or a lot of people that work for this specific carrier. So a piece of 9YKN skin was cut up and made into plane tags. It now lives on in the hands of collectors and fans like myself. 9YANU on the other hand remains airworthy. And though fate may one day bring her back home, for now we say one last time, hate to see you go, love to see you leave. Maintain run, we're heading up. Depart, just go 7271. Brent Panero, CNC3 News.